Patrick. Together, we are JP Adventures 19. So now we are actually cutting the trims. They're gonna go around the edges everywhere. Patrick's holding the trim up in the right position and now I will try to mark where the brush bar mounts are. So we're done and now we have to um, cut out the little pieces again and I hope Patrick lets me go down. Hey. So it's pretty much the same process um, like when we did the trims in the front. So we measured the length, we cut it to the right size, and now we are cutting in um, the holes where, uh, where the brush ball mounts are. And then it should fit, and then you have to do all the other stuff. <laughs> All right, you're just turn. <laughs> ah! Got it. There's one. Good job. The other one went flying. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the box out of the shed again. All right, the box is outside. It's a sunny day. What's the plan, Patrick? So, we're gonna try and get the trims on. Um, including the ones around the hatches and so we're going to glue them on and possibly spot weld them we'll see how we go and then we'll try and paint it we'll prime it paint it because yeah, it's good weather finally yeah and apparently it's not a good day tomorrow so perfect time to get it painted again so we put the trims that we cut the last couple of days onto the edges but as you know, um, our box is not 100% 90 degrees everywhere. So the roof is a bit like this. <laughs> and now we're bending the trims. So it's not 90 degrees, it's a bit less. It's a bit of a sharper angle. And this is how we do it. We're actually using <laughs> this little thing. What's it called? Weiss. Weiss. Device. And then we just put it in there and push it together. And it worked with the long one, and now we're doing the shorter sides at the other long one, and then we'll see how that fits. serious um, we're wiping the surfaces with turps where we're gonna apply glue and then we'll glue on the the trims let's see how that goes mm -hmm. <laughs> All 
our plan is to put Sika Flex around the edges and in the middle a thick layer of super grip. So we are using this one. Apparently it's the best. We'll see. <laughs> And this time we are actually using a sausage gun, not our fingers anymore. We decided to invest the ten dollars. Yeah. So we're using Sika Super Grip because um, Brandon Tate did some tests and found it was one of the. It was actually the glue that held the most amount of force. He was gluing his fiberglass panels, so that's why we decided we're using this to glue on our trims. Yeah, Sika, most Sika products are all polyurethane based, um, which makes some excellent glues. Alright, we're trying to push it on with clamps and a metal bar and whatever. We'll see if that works. It's our first one, so we'll learn as we go. Um, we had to change the bar to press it on, and now we're using just a normal a SHS. A straighter one. Yeah, the other <laughs> one was bent a bit. And then we clamped it. Um, and we used our brush bomb mounts to tighten it and now we just let it dry there's one edge that comes off a tiny bit right here because as you know our roof is not completely flat so we will weld it on like just the edge and then we'll have to let it dry for a bit and we're gonna do all the other sides all around here Fun times! <laughs> Check out our art. <laughs> All of glue and silicon, and now we'll put it on. changed our construction a little bit this is the way to go so we actually climbed a SHS on on here and we had to use the wood as spacer and then this wood to press it, wood to press it on and this is spacer as well it's a bit tricky but we got there at the end and now it's a lot better than it's only before. a five-man job yeah <laughs> and one girl yeah this one's dry that was the first one we've done and these one these two this one and the other side are drying now and this is the construction from underneath <laughs> we learn as we go all part of the adventure i think Since we got no more clamps, um, we can't do the last side, it's another big side, so it's a bit tricky. So we will try to do the trims for the hatches and the slide up balcony. The hatch should be easy, but the slide up balcony has a few weird angles, so Wish us luck. that will be interesting. And also the trims for the box, for the main part, they're 50 by 50. And the trims for the hatches are? 25 by 25. Exactly. Let's go. These two 
they actually fit and now we have to shorten the other two try again It's already getting dark and we didn't get everything done we wanted to but we kind of get used to it because lately it's been like this a lot and um, yeah we just have to live with it and keep going yay what's that it's a walking lamp <laughs> going for a walk with my pet That's something you don't see every day. A walking lamp. <laughs> We've been at it way too long today already. <laughs> New day and can you believe it? It's another sunny day. We can't. <laughs> All right, so this is what the trims look like. We, we removed the steel bar and the wood um yesterday night when it was dark and now we have to do the sides in front and we did a little mistake <laughs> um we cut the ones for the back 10 centimeters too short so we had a uh, instead of 187 we cut 178 and we have no more spare that's long enough so we'll have to get some new trims which is no problem they fit into the van and the goal of today is getting the overhang painted because it started rusting so we had to treat it and it's so wet at night so um we're getting the trims ready for the overhang hopefully that works <laughs> and then we'll paint it so we are currently working on the overhang we'll show you and a delivery just arrived we'll show you what it is so um, this is the overhang, we're taking care of the trims right now and um, we'll stitch them together, take them off, weld them together properly and then grind them down so they look nice and smooth. Here we go. What is it? Our solar panels. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we spot welded this edge and this edge on and now we're gonna do the other side. And because we can't clamp the thing of the welder on, I have to hold it. So the trims are welded together and we grunge down all the welds so they're nice and flush and now we are actually going to start painting the overhang <laughs> Ba-da-ba-ba-ba 
So these are the products we're using. Um, it's a industrial coatings metal edge primer in grey from, from Concept Paints. And we have a really good solvent. We're really happy with it. We use it for the paint especially. It's for automotive coatings from Metal Lux. Solvent 1157. We are back. We took a couple of days break, kind of. Like we worked on the laptop, but not on the actual box. And today we want to finish up the trims. So we have to cut two more right here. And then we might start building the hatches and the door. So we cut the trims for all the hatches and doors except for the slide up balcony. So we're working on that now. And part of it is really easy, but on this side we have different angles. So we will have to change the angle of the saw all the time. Let's go, Patrick's ready. Now we're at the trickiest bit. So we've done this side with um, the thing is that the trims of the of the hatch to the garage and the balcony they overlap. So we have to adapt them a bit. And now Patrick will actually have to cut out a piece of this one, which you might be able to see here. There's the line all the way until. Here, so he will have to cut it out and we just use a cutting disc and the little grinder today. <laughs> actually almost in place it's going along here and this is the section that was a bit tricky but now it fits we cut everything to size and it is welding time <laughs> dark already but we're still working in the shed and these are the trims of the hatches and the door and now we'll weld them properly together in the corners and then grind it down again so they're flush and then they're actually ready to get glued on So far we've been working with bare steel or painted steel and the trims are the first time we're working with galvanized steel. Patrick, what do you think about it? Don't get me started. He hates it. Welding galvanized steel is it's annoying! Not, it's not fun. Look at this. It all comes out white and nasty and there's like little fuzz stuff flying everywhere. There's weld splatter everywhere. It's easy to make holes in it yeah, it's easy to make holes in your foot um, <laughs> but yeah. that's well when with welding in general time to grind down the welds patrick's having fun so 
another day without rain and Patrick finished off those trims yesterday so they are welded together on the edges and then obviously we put we grinded them down and so we sink on top so they are really like you can't tell they got welded together and today we want to glue them onto the box if you were wondering what's up on our roof these are our solar panels <laughs> Um, if it was easy it would be boring so um, even the trims are a bit complicated but only because it's not that straight so um, we had to fill some gaps with like extra flat metal just to push it closer to the box so the gap is not that big and we clamped it from this side as well we have a strap here so it looks pretty good now <laughs> but before it wasn't that that pretty and not that good but we're getting there Seeker Flex is empty and if you ever wanted what it looks like when the sausage is empty <laughs> why it's worth getting one of these guns <laughs> look at this <laughs> so this is the empty sausage the remaining part it's completely compressed <laughs> so this is why it's worth it because the 10 bucks you spend on this are gonna be the 10 bucks more you get out of each of these sausages. <laughs> effect flex is drying um, we have to wait half an hour at least we're taking care of the overhang so we will fill or we are filling the gap with Sika flex and then we will put Sika flex and glue into the trim and just stick it on there because it sits really tight on the overhang to get creative and this time the box is a bit further inside in the middle and so we couldn't press it on with the steel bar so <laughs> we put screwdrivers in there <laughs> whatever works yeah looks a lot better now so we can't clamp the other side um, and it takes half an hour for the glue to dry so Patrick's just gonna stand there like this and I made him hot chucky. dark by now but we want to finish the trims and so we keep going this side is the last side is it's the back of the box so another four trims this one that one that one that one 
And then we're done. They're the hardest ones, of course. And this time we couldn't clamp them because we didn't have a clamp that was long enough to cover this distance. So we got two big ratchet straps and we just strapped it on. <laughs> so yeah, it actually works pretty good as you can see. It's nice and tight. The silicon or Sika flex is coming out of it. That's good. So it means it's really tight on it. The trims are on and it actually does make a big difference. It looks so much nicer around the edges. But we are not done yet. So the plan is to weld the edges together so they are sealed and just that it looks a lot better and then we'll grind it down. And then we will actually do like a small seam of Sika Flex around them. And then we can paint it again, but we won't that do that anytime soon because today we went to Banbury and we actually ordered the trim for here because um, it's not a 90 degree angle so they will bend it for us in our length and then we can glue that on and then we can paint it. Everything's welded and now Patrick's grinding the last corner down. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, now that it's done, I'm done grinding. Um, I'm gonna take the flap disc and sand it again with a flap disc that's actually not really sandpaper anymore. It's just really, really fine. Um, and that actually helps to have, like create a nice finish on it because with the grinding disc, it leaves so many like grooves and cuts that you might actually see it when you paint it. So do just go over it quickly with a flap disc. Problem solved, looks like perfect. Will be nice and smooth. Yeah. The flappy disc is on. Nice and smooth. Let's go. Is this supposed to be sandpaper? No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So he's gonna go over all the routes again and I'll go back into the van and continue editing our next video. Have fun Patrick! It is a new day and it's bright again so we can show you what the corners look like. Patrick sprayed the more sink spray after grinding them. And since the weather doesn't look very convincing, <laughs> we'll leave the box inside the shed and work on the silicon on the roof to make it waterproof. Extra waterproof. Extra waterproof. <laughs> It got too cold and wet, so the paint has a different color. Not ideal. 